So guys, welcome back. This is Home Harbor, Roma, and we will start our video about the bulwarks. I already glued one bulwark, and I'll explain you why. I did very dumb thing, really, really dumb thing. I wanted to see how the bulwark match with uh, those pieces. So I took the bulwark with uh, no water, just like it came with the kit. It was not, I thought, it really flexible because it looks really flexible and obviously what dumb thing that i did i tried to fit it to see how it looks and i just break it so i glue it without you it was really dumb thing it is br broken right here but it's not problem i glue it i send it down so don't try to <laughs> dry fit the ball works how i did because I thought if in Polaris I did it with no water, with no bending, so I can do it the same with Essex. But no, no, no. It was really bad idea. It was really dumb idea. But okay, ne next time I will know that I no need to do this because this is really wrong. So guys, uh, what we will do now, we will glue the second one, the second ball work. We will match them at the front then we will uh, plank them from inside what i decided that i will do deck a little bit more darker i will give a little bit more stain i will stain one more time deck and then so it's going to be two layers on the deck and one layer uh, inside the ball works when we will plank them and then i think uh, we will prepare our hole for the first plank so this is the plan for this video and now what i will use and how i will glue the ball work first thing is going to be glass with warm not really hot water because i'm afraid to split it uh, split the ball work i have experience like this so we're going to place it inside so it's not really hot just warm water will be fine then i need a drill one mil drill pins like this i show it to you a lot of times pins like this hammer and the knife so we will start placing the bulwark in the glass of water so guys i'm placing it doesn't have to be a lot of time then I'm going to start, I take my cup like this, it have a curve, uh, almost similar as our hull, our bow, so I will start to bend it around the hull. So let's just give it a little bit to gain the flexibility and then we will start bending it. So guys, how I'm doing it, to check if it have flexibility. I just take it, I will not use another glass, I will just use this one and I'm trying to bend it around the glass very carefully, very slowly so I did bend it so it gained its flexibility so we can start gluing it I saw a lot of guys they bend it around a cup, around some stuff then clamp them and wait until it completely dry well for me i think how i'm doing it i'm just going to glue it and leave it like this so it will dry with the glue with the water and it will gain that curve nice and perfect and will dry like this so we can start we can start gluing it, guys and how i told you we will need one mil drill and pins like this so let's start so first thing that i want to do guys is to make holes for our pins place it i will start from the middle i'm going to do the holes where are our ribs so here going to be first hole first is going to be a dry fit i'm not putting the glue One tip for you guys, 
when you're going to do the hole pay attention to do the hole in the deck because right here in the deck because if you go higher you can damage your deck so be careful with this this is my way of gluing it you can use uh, I'm not I'm not recommend you because I'm not really a fan of super glue but you can use super glue it will be faster but I don't want to use here a super glue I want to use the white glue it's strong it's nice and I know that I will not have any problem when it will be dry so guys you see they are holding very nice and tight the ball work so I will do those ones and in the bow when we start into curve I will come back to you and show you how I'm doing it so guys I did this part right you can see it's all tight everything is good and now in this point we are starting to bend our ball work do it very gently very carefully and very slow after breaking the other one I am really nervous but I hope everything will be good so guys very nice and gently slow who guys I think we passed the crucial point because I break it right here so I think I'm good now what we need to do I don't really understand why but they are not matching at the front so I need to cut a little bit uh, the ball work but it's not a big problem I have the same thing in Polaris so as again to don't cut too much just take it a little bit at the time with the knife um, but yeah really if if you will cut a little bit more than it is it's not a problem because we're going to have again two planking from inside and from outside so it's not a big deal but to be honest we want to do everything nice smooth and perfect so i will just starting to cut it like this like here like just a little bit guys just a little bit at the time I really try my best so it come up like this now I will do the hole so I did it I bend it I didn't break it so I am very happy and glad I would leave it like this just for a couple of minutes so we'll gain uh, the form and then uh, it's just very simple you take all of the pins you apply the glue then you glue it and you already have the holes so you don't need to uh, take time to do again the holes so it will be very fast the glue will not dry because I use white glue uh, but it's fast uh, drying so guys just a few minutes I will leave it like this and then we will glue it so now guys we can apply the glue and start gluing it now guys it's going to be easy now it's not very difficult we have our holes try to don't put a lot of glue so it will not come up on our deck again guys at the bow it's already gaining flexibility but be careful anyway
So guys, the first part, more important, is finished. Now we'll just leave it to dry like this, completely dry, uh, for a couple of hours, and then we will continue to work. So, I done this part, it is dry. Uh, I did sand it a little bit at the bow. If you have a small gap, guys, I will give you a small tip. You just put a little bit of the white glue, then just sand it down a little bit, so the dust will mix up with glue, and you will have no gap at all. So the next tip, ne next tip, sorry, next step in the instructions, we can already prepare the hull for the second plank. What I want to do, I want to do the planking, the bulwarks from inside. Uh, if you check the plans, we should do it like this, right? We take one plank, like we did with our the same planks, 0 0.6 uh, lime wood. And we go from the bow and through the all length. length. But we're going to have here cut. I don't want that cut right there because for me it's going to be like a weak point, like a weak spot. I don't know. I just don't want there a cut. So uh, I come up with a different solution. I want to put the wooden strip like this. Then I'm going to cut it right here in this point right here. So then I check the instructions further. We're going to have the wooden parts. They will go like this through all the bulwarks. So right here in this point is just going to cover the cut. So I want to go like this. So the first step, we need to measure how much we need to cut. To measure it, I just put the beginning of the strip right here. Then we'll go around see where it ends cut it and then glue it so guys i will measure it and we can glue it in the position so guys i cut the wood strip now we can apply the glue and glue the first one so we will start right from this part i'll put it right now in the correct position and now guys make sure that everything is tied So, I leave it to dry. I think this is just uh, not a big deal at all to do something like this. We're going to have one more round like this. And then, right here, we just put the rest of them like this. It's just child play for you guys. I really believe in this, but okay. I will do one more, we will cut it, we will send it down, I will just need a little bit until it dries, and then we can continue with this part right here, very easy, very fast, and then we will send the hull. So let's leave it to dry and then I will come back to you. So as I told you, when it's dry I will come back to you. Guys, before I glue the second one, I did send the first one to the bow using just a file like this. Nothing complicated. You will handle it. I'm sure of it. Now, what I want to do, we'll cut the axis of the planks. We'll send them down and then we'll continue uh, to the end, gluing from inside the ball works so let's cut and send it down
so guys it is done we are ready now we can move forward and glue the rest of the planks so take your time with the bow when you're going to send it down right here don't do a lot of force to don't rip off the planks also when you're going to cut don't cut too much so it will be even and now let's just continue we will finish with this part i will show you the first two planks it's not complicated it's really really not so it's going to be easy and quick i will show you the first one and then you will just continue like this guys it's very simple now we do the opposite side perfect guys so even even if you have you can see in the bow I have a small gap even if you have some gap don't worry because it's going to be a wooden part around the deck so it will cover it so guys in this way we go up this is really nothing to film because you just step by step you're going up it's going to be more four three planks on each side I don't need I should I don't think I should film it it's nothing to do and then I will come back to you to finish it to send it down and that's it it's really really simple just take your time don't rush and everything will be good and so guys it's dry now what I'm going to do the same procedure we'll cut the axis then I take 320 uh, 320 sanding paper then go inside send it down and then go into stain it again with the walnut stain i explained to you glue it with the water i will go again one more time in the deck and uh, at the bulwarks so let's do it So guys, clean job, everything nice, everything straight, the bow, everything is good. So I will just stain it, first I will clean all of this mess, I will stain it and we're going to leave it to completely dry and then we will prepare our hole, it's not a lot of job, it's just basically it's just sanding the ribs and those parts so I will send uh, I will stain it we we'll leave it to dry then we will finish it with uh, preparing the hole so guys as again I will explain to you the stain is one on stain dilute with water a lot of water you see it gives me a cream color but I want to go with a little bit darker just a little bit so I added for uh, this jar more few drops of stain so I go again um, the deck then the ball works so let's start So guys this is it, I stain it two times deck, one time ball works. Now I'm just going to leave it to dry and when it's going to be completely dry we will continue and finish it with preparing the hole for the first planking. So guys I'm going to leave it probably over the night or for a few hours, I will see and then we will continue. So guys it's dry. 
now what we can do it's start sending what I will use I will use sending block 120 and I will use the nail file it is enough for me so let's start start with the front When you go on to send it down, try to take two, three rips at the same time. Uh, so it will be nice and smooth. Take your time with this because this stuff is really important. This is our first planking so the first planking is really crucial you can see what I do and I'm, I'm first I'm trying to light them up with uh, the ribs then slightly starting to curve it a little bit further when I will have nice curve I will take one plank and we will just check if it lining up nice so we will done with this so let's continue I think this is good enough it is smooth so we can check with our plank first plank would end up here then we go down So good guys, I think, I think we should take a little bit more here in this spot. So guys basically what you need to check if the wood the wooden strip uh, have all the surface on our ribs to be glued so it's touching all of the surface of the rib yep so this part is done let's go to the stern so at the stern the same procedure we slightly go from stern to the bow like this and start to send it down now guys this part is also done right here it's smooth now we can do the ribs guys this part is also done you can see the plank is lining up nicely smooth here I didn't sand a lot because we're going to have first plank like this another one like this and then they starting to go like inside so uh, I'm going to do the other side and then I come back to you and show you the result so guys, if you can see, it's all done at the stern, with the bow. So we are good to go guys. We are good to go, we are good to start our first planking and it's going to be our next video. So guys, thank you very much for watching me. It was Romo from Home Harbor. Take your time with this, don't rush. You have my video, you have photos in the instructions. It's not hard, it's just, just pay attention, take your time, 
and everything will be awesome so thank you very much and i see you next time